everyone welcome into the studio i am Anne. i hope that you'll consider subscribing to the channel here at Anne makes and you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below the Anne makes in the corner of the screen and please remember to click on the bell that youtube shows that way youtube will know that you will you want to be notified of new content that i post and you may want to subscribe because if you like anything having to do with arts and crafts, lots of how-tos, DIYs, and a lot of haul videos, especially of affordable crafting supplies, then you won't want to miss any of the videos. Today, I have a video to share with you that is all about craft room organization and in particular my new way of storing my diamond art supplies so i do love to do diamond art painting and i am swamped by a massive amount of leftover drills from all the projects i create and tools as well so i've tried different things over the past few months and currently i am loving my system and i wanted to share that system with you my system consists of using a portable caddy storage system such as this one now this is a portable uh, caddy it is called different things by uh, different stores, I imagine. This one, I honestly do not remember if this is one of the Deflecto brands that I got from the company directly that I bought at Michael's or that I bought at Costco because I do have several of these. They are also available through Michael's. They are sold under the Recollections brand. And I have, uh, I know that these are made by the same company. They just have different brand names. And I love these caddies. They stack one on top of each other. They can clip into each other with this section here of the handle. You can stack them and even put them onto a base with wheels and roll them around in your craft room or wherever you live, which is great if you are limited in space and you need to store your craft supplies in a closet, let's say, or perhaps in a spare room or if you live in an apartment and you are fortunate to have to have to you are fortunate enough to have an extra space in your apartment building where you could keep extra things in storage these are a great way for you to go get your things out of storage when you just need them to do your projects so the next part of the video has been pre-filmed because i give you a up close view of exactly how I store everything that you see in here in this caddy. And these caddies uh, store a lot of product and tools. I love using them. In addition to my caddy here, I also have extra tools stored in this cutesy little box. And I will leave the links to this product in the description below. And the other thing I show you in the video is my inventory sheet of my diamond dot drills. Now on here I had a lot of fun doing this sheet and it's basically all the leftover drills I have from all the projects. Even if I only have three drills left in the bag, I had a lot of fun just gluing them onto this sheet just to say, oh, I had them. <laughs> so, uh, Hold on, and we're going to switch camera views, and you're going to see the pre-filmed part of what is inside my caddy here. In the studio, I like to use storage systems that are either portable, compact, or can be moved around easily. The stackable organizer caddies by Deflecto fulfill all those requirements. 
plus each caddy holds up to three different sized organizers that are see-through and which is a great benefit to someone like myself who has a lot of supplies and tools. In addition, the stacked caddies can be rolled to wherever they are needed by being snapped into a caddy wheelbase. Each unit or caddy is designed to be easy, easily stacked with the lift and lock feature. Those are the gray levers I showed you. In this caddy, I choose to use the longest uh, see-through bin to store the actual extra diamonds that I have or drills. And I can show you this, these containers come out very easily and they just snap open, snap close very easily. Um, and I'm, sh I'm showing you now that these are the little bags of extra diamond dots that I have left over from various projects and, um, that I do and or that I've done and each bag is labeled with the DMC and diamond dots numbers. Some of these labels were uh, provided to me because I, I work with uh, the company and I worked with the company on certain projects and other bags I just made the label myself. So the bags I find are the best way for me. I've tried different things and I find those the most efficient. This is a DMC diamond dots chart that I got off the internet, printed uh, the whole chart. It came out in two pages. I put, I glued them back to back then I laminated them and I then had a lot of fun just gluing little drills that correspond to the colors on the chart. I use the Tombow multi adhesive to you to glue the diamonds. I find it's a great adhesive for that. It holds super well. I can actually uh, flick uh, the little drills and they don't come off it they stay I can fold this sheet although I, it's not meant to be folded but I can fold it move it around wave it around and the little diamonds stay stuck to the uh, laminated part of the sheet so I, I really like this system um, it's fun for me to see the actual drills on the color chart. Sometimes the color chart, because of my printer or the ink that I'm using, doesn't print the true color of the drills. So I just enjoy having the actual drills on the chart. So that's just a tip for you. So I'm showing you I put back the longest unit. I have two other bins on the other side. In the medium sized bin, I store all the <laughs> extra trays that I have from various kits. I've also received extra trays in uh, kits from Amazon when I've bought certain tools. So I do have an, a, a quite a large amount of various trays to hold the drills. They come in different sizes. And so I store uh, them in here. I don't have room to store more in this box so uh, for future projects if I get any other trays I have to store them somewhere else or give them pass them on or something. Now the final container contains my what I call my labeling kit. In here I will show you in a little bit. I'm just taking out some things that are not supposed to be there. Okay, so in here, as you can see, I this is where I store my bottle of glue so I can glue the little drills to my chart. I have a Sharpie pen that doesn't bleed through paper for my for writing on the labels. A small pair of scissors to cut open the small bags of diamond drills, a diamond drill applicator, and of course a little bit of wax and a 
in order to apply the diamond drills to the chart. A little spoon, which is always practical to scoop out a small amount of drills from uh, the bags. In this little sealed zipper bag, I keep labels that I like to use for making labels for the bags to identify the colors by number by the DMC and Diamond Dots numbers. And I'm just getting a bag that already has drills in it and it's labeled to show you an example. So when I'm done creating a label and applying it to the bag, that's what it looks like. In the next bag, I store small square or rectangular pieces of dryer sheets. I include a piece of this in each uh, bag when I pour the drills that come in a kit into the little bag. I find that this helps to reduce the static. Here is a bag of bags. I like to use these clear Ziploc bags that are sold at Dollarama. Uh, they come in a package of 72 bags for $1.25. They, I only find these at Dollarama, of course, and I do find the plastic uh, of a superior quality to the bags that usually come in the kits that have that red line. Those other bags I find are too thin. In this bag, I store a rectangular pieces of paper that fit inside the Ziploc bags, and I just use these papers in order to give each little bag some body. It helps the bag to stand up in the baskets when I go to work on a project. And I'm just showing you how to open the bag. I insert the rectangle of paper. Next goes the small piece of dryer sheet. The next step would be to create the label that will identify the drills that are to be placed in the bag. And there I'm just showing you an example of some uh, bags from a different kit. Uh, that these, these are not the, the same brand so I didn't place them inside uh, with my diamond dots but I just kept it to show you an example. I just snip the bag open, pour the diamonds in, and and add my label so I know exactly which color is in that bag. When I'm ready to work on a project, I use one of these clear bins that I buy at dollar stores, I stand up all the little bags of the drills pertaining to that project in uh, the order that they come by the diamond dots numbers. And I just place a tool for applying the drills, some wax, my tray, and I just sit that on the desk where I will be working and the bags stay upright. I just reach in, grab what I need, pour the drills into each tray, and away we go. Using this method, uh, I find it's very neat and efficient for me. I just put everything back into their little bags, put all the little bags back into the uh, see-through organizer, uh, and of course I the glue, the applicator tool, my spoon, etc. Everything goes back in this little organizer, which I will return to the uh, caddy base there. And then I will be ready for the next time that I need to make labels or add diamond drills to the chart. Finally, all I have to do is place the clear organizers back into the caddy 
And away I go, and I can go do my diamond painting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps learned something new to you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Share if you care. Leave any comments or questions you have in uh, the comments below. I do reply to the com all comments eventually. Eventually. And uh, any links about the products that I've showed in this video will be available for you in the description below. Uh, if I have the opportunity also, I will try to complete this with a blog post over at my blog at nmakes.ca, www.nmakes.ca. Uh, please note that some links are affiliate links, but not all of them, just some of them. I want to thank you again for stopping by. Thank you very much for watching this video and commenting. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.